comes yes, out. He goes does. for the melee, doesn't need it. Big Star just got punished, and now he's in a good position with this. Oh, oh, another is he time gonna go for the punched. third? Ammo guy, turn around, please. Just on the charge. Oh my word, that is sick. Anderzel, you are doing the damage, you're doing the work, and that is what we'll be seeing this morning. <laughs> there we go. The celebratory, promised. celebratory victory crouch. <laughs> is that what you call it? I think that's probably what we should call it now. Technical term. <laughs> <laughs> he did promise he would do that. <laughs> guys, so we are hosting a giveaway for Battlefield 1. A link is in the description below if you guys want to win yourself a copy. All you got to do is click that link, fill out three steps, and you're pretty much in the giveaway. Which they have. They might struggle to hold on to this one, but they are now double ahead of the British Empire in a comfortable position at the moment. But as we know in Battlefield, anything can change at any point. We've got 11 minutes left of the game. You know, that's plenty of time for the Brits to come back and do something about it. Yeah, there's, there's loads of time. There's still trains. See, now this gets flanked on by Anderzel. He was holding that position. He was trying to play hide and seek, keep up to what he normally does, but it doesn't work here. Anderzel's <laughs> on to you. He's got things to do. And now he's going to follow up some more. Not going to get it that time, though. He gets shut down in the end. That's what we wanted to see there. A little bit of a, you know, he's got to be reminded that he's human at this point. But still, let's, let's take a look at how the landscape's evolving as well, because this is another factor here that, you know, the cover that once stood will be taken away. And already that train station is looking worse than King's Cross at this point. <laughs> you can see those, uh, those two empty carriages there. They are obviously intact and full at the start of the round. They don't provide a huge amount of cover, but, you know, they still stand as structures. And you see somebody using it as cover right there. At the start of the round, they would have been, you know, more beneficial to use. But now, yeah, it's like sort of looking through a fishing net. You can see straight through it. Oh, that horse isn't going to be in a good way. Oh. Lovely covering fire. Let's see if a sniper can do it. Trying to do the lead here on the sniper with the travel time. But look at the serpentine from the other player. They're going to see those bullets, so, you know, the, the trace of fire <laughs> coming in. They're serpentining, serpentining now like using, a madman. He's now... <laughs> He was using some of that smoke as cover yeah. as well. Not sure he knew that, but, but the sniper did. couldn't see through He's it. He's just a genius. <laughs> Next like, if level. If I run game. over here, he'll never know. But well, no, and, and that's something I think that as you play more of Battlefield, you will start to learn some of these higher level tactics. I mean, I'm not saying Serpentine is a high level tactic, no. but you know that it's going to make it a lot harder for the, uh, for the sniper with his, with his rifle to hit you. Or if you run behind cover, or if you know there's some smoke there and you use that as cover. Well, especially on maps like this, there's things called silhouetting, and it's, it's more classical to maybe even other games, but you do see it in Battlefield on occasion, but here on this sort of environment, you're going to see that very arid terrain in the background. If you silhouette over the top, if your player, the complete body, shows up against you know, this blue sky, yep. you're going to be a very easy target. You've got to Extreme. run against those death legs, you've got to use the terrain to your advantage, and you're going to be seeing these guys trying to make a mad dash towards that sea point, try and get back over there, but there is no rest for the wicked. There is not. I mean, we're seeing a lot of action on this map around the infantry zone and something that we haven't seen and I, I don't know maybe this is just the people that are playing but we haven't seen a huge amount of footage of the middle of the desert objective the e point and uh, that's something that maybe we could get a good look of later i'm not 100 percent sure it would be nice to look at that just so that you guys at home can have a good overview of the whole map yeah and actually just in here case, we go there it as is. if by magic you know. little oasis out there. It's <laughs> so this is right in the middle of the desert. It's about mm, 500 metres from the other objective. So it's a long way to go. And if you look at all the cover that you've got there, all of those sand dunes, yeah. that flag there is perfect for a tank battle. Hmm. That's probably going to be the flag where you've got tanks coming in from one side of the Ottoman Empire, tanks coming in from the British Empire, and they're going to meet at that flag and fight over it for the entire round. Because at the moment, that's been a free pickup for the British Empire. They've had that in yeah. their pocket for as long as I can remember. They haven't been particularly challenged. Now, actually, again, just in case people are new to Battlefield, what is that sort of gun we saw there? Well, not necessarily a gun. What does that sort of serve a purpose for? I think what that was is the spotting flare. Now, that is available to the scout class as a gadget. And uh, if you pop it up over an objective or anywhere in the map, it will show up the enemy locations on your mini-map. It won't show them up on the screen in front of you. It will show them on the mini-map. And that's a, obviously a very helpful tool for not only you, but the rest of your teammates who are in that location. And obviously they've then got to go and find that person. They could be on the third story of a building, or they could be on the bottom, you don't know, but you have a general idea where that person might be. All right, so let's check in back with the tickets. How the